Hello, I just thought I'd make another video. I did one uh, last time using Photoshop. This time I'm going to do a layer mask using GIMP software, which is freely available. You can download it easy enough on, uh, on the internet. Uh, just type in GIMP, download it if you haven't already got it. And I wanted to do a, uh, a video um, just talking about how to do a layer mask, select an item that you want and then you can put in any kind of background or photo that you want behind it. So if you're after a nice plain white background, you can do that using this method. So let's go and uh, take a look. Okay, so here we go. We've got uh, GIMP open here. So we'll open up an image first of all. We'll go to open and I'll just pick this one. Uh, keep original. Right, okay, so this particular image doesn't actually look too bad, but you can see the white ba the background isn't completely white and we've got specks in the background. Now I could try and draw around the item. What I'm going to do in this video is show you how to completely remove the background and make it completely white. So what we'll do is we'll go up to layer at the top here click on transparency and then add alpha channel okay and then we'll go up to layer again and we'll duplicate the layer there we go so we've got in the layers palette down at the bottom here we can see we've got two two layers basically so we've got a backup okay what we'll do is seeing as they're both named the same we'll just double click double left click on this one, the top one, and we'll just call that mask so that we know uh, what we're working on here and just hit enter. And then um, the next thing that we'll do is we'll go up to colors at the top here and we'll look for desaturate and just click on desaturate so which will take out all of the other uh, colors. So we'll just click OK to desaturate and see that everything's now black and white. What we need to do is increase the, the contrast on this. So the next thing that we'll need to do is go up to colors and look for brightness contrast. And then we can just slide these up a little bit. So we'll brighten it, try and make the, uh, the background the white as white as possible but when we increase increase the uh, the contrast we can just slide this up you can see the white the background's going white quite nicely there but what we want the dark th the darker area here we want to uh, just make it easy on ourselves to so make that as dark as we can that's uh, not looking too bad Okay, you just got to play around with these levels till you get to something that looks pretty good. We've got a bit of grey in the white there. Okay, that's pretty good. And when you're happy with what you've got, then just click OK. Right, so from here, what we need to do is we need to go to colours at the top and we'll click on invert okay now anything that is white is the stuff that we're going to keep and anything that is black will ultimately just be taken out so obviously where the blade is here for this uh, particular picture is kind of grey and uh, black um, and we've got lots of white dots in the black here so we can quickly take out these white dots easy enough. We can go up to a brush tool here and then if I just sw click on the arrows here and just swap that so that the black is at the top we can just quickly uh, paint over these uh, little dots here get rid of them make sure that the background is completely black and I can see by doing that 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 area down there isn't completely black so a quick way just to select that is if we go up to this tool here which is like a magic wand tool or fuzzy selection tool and just click on the areas that uh, we don't think are completely black 
then we can then take our paintbrush and just paint them in black and only the areas that were selected are black so I can go straight over there and that doesn't matter so that makes it a lot easier okay trying not to go over anything like this on the blade on the blades because that I think I can make uh, yeah it's going a bit darker there which I don't want so let's just go over and anything that was selected by that tool that was the particular shade that I clicked on is now turning black. So I'm going to deselect that. So select none. Now nothing is selected again. I can't see any spots uh, in the blackness there. That all looks like a nice smooth colour. So now I need to make the, the blade obviously white and that part on the handle there too. So I'm going to select, uh, switch over here by clicking on the arrows, make, bring the white to the top. I can adjust the size of the brush here by uh, holding my fingers down on the square brackets. It moves quite slowly, but then you can adjust it to the size and I can just paint over the, uh, the areas. Again, I can select using this wand tool the areas that I want selected and then I can paint over, I'll go to the paintbrush again, and just paint over those areas nice and quickly like that and there's a little bit down there so we'll just select that go back to paintbrush that's that done and wand that's all one colour pretty much so let's paint over that bit ok that's almost uh, done uh, right we won't have anything selected. If you want to just go through, I mean, little bits like this, you can just go over. Um, just be careful. Try not to go over to the. Try not to go over the edge too much. The other way of doing it, of course, is everything that we don't want selected is black. So rather than just trying to paint in everything white and being careful to avoid the edge and uh, faff about in this case we've got a nice black all the way around so what we'll do is we'll hit the, uh, the selection tool here, magic wand that has selected the entire black area so okay so what we'll do now is we'll go up to select and invert and now the bit that I can work on is this part here. I've taken the selection away from the black area and now the selected area is the bit that we want to keep. So now I can quite safely, we've got paintbrush selected, I can just go over the edge, doesn't matter. So I'm just going to increase the uh, brush size a little bit and just paint over all of this making sure that it's all completely white. A bit bigger actually. Okay, so with that all white, the whole thing is uh, selected as white. I shall now again just select none. So now we've got nothing selected there. We've got our shape. So what we'll do now is we'll go up to edit and cut. And that makes it disappear from the, the layers palette there. And what we'll do is we'll go up to Layer and then Mask and then we'll add, air la uh, add Layer Mask and then initialize Layer Mask to White Full Opacity. So we'll click, make sure that's selected and click Add. And you can see that that has suddenly appeared down here. So I'll just left click on there, on the, uh, the white square which has appeared, which is the layer mask. And then we just literally go to edit and paste. And with the layer mask selected, the 
background or the white area that was there has completely gone and all we've got left is the image that we wanted and then we've got our um, floating mask here so if we right click on this area here and we select anchor layer that makes the whole thing just one layer so we've just got the one layer here which is the image there's no detail at all behind it so if we want any colour of background you fancy in which case we're doing white what I'll do is I'm going to click down here this icon which is create a new layer and we'll just click OK so we've got a new layer selected which is above the uh, the tool so if I try to uh, paint in a white background that is on top that's the top layer we want it underneath so I'm just going to click and drag this down and now it's underneath so all I did was left click held that dragged it down released the mouse and now I can paint in a nice white background or I can go to the paint bucket tool click that and click in the blank area and there we go we've got a nice plain white background behind our image if you wanted to um, have a different colour you can click on the white area there and you can select blue whatever colour you want really can have whatever you want so if you wanted blue click OK paint bucket and there's a blue background you can see a couple of areas here on the side of the handle which are still white I could go over that and try and take out those but if you're looking for a nice white background you wouldn't really need to uh, to bother it's uh, it's there and certainly for selling items on eBay or other such platforms if you're wanting an item to really pop out against a plain white background this is uh, a nice easy way to do it so uh, we'll just come out of the actually we'll just <clears throat> flatten image which then reduces however many layers you have open to one layer so this is all now one image and then you can just go ahead get, click on file save as and save it to wherever you want on your computer and there is your finished picture well I hope you found that uh, really useful um, if you did then please uh, hit the like button or um, please subscribe I'll be making a few extra uh, videos and if there's any questions that you have or um, you don't know how to do something on either Photoshop or GIMP, then uh, ask away and I'll try to answer those questions and incorporate them into future videos. Thanks for watching.